In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a background or sprite, or how to draw a background or sprite. They are both very similar. If you see in the corner here, you have a cat with a plus, and you have a background with a plus, backdrop with a plus. You notice they are very similar. This one is choosing a sprite, painting a sprite, a surprise, or if you choose to upload a sprite, maybe it's a picture that the students have drawn. Right now I'm going to choose a sprite. You notice you have many different choices up here. You can do a quick search for something you're looking for. I'm looking for fish. If you noticed, it showed many fish. So let me show that again. When I typed fish, you notice how it was changing to all different types of fish. That means that they, it has many different costumes. So if I look in costumes, you will see all of the different fish. Maybe I want this fish and the blue fish. I can right click, hit duplicate, and I can change it to a blue fish. Where I can, this trash can will get rid of all the other ones. Sometimes a sprite's costume will change its feet so that you can program it to walk. If you want to draw your sprite, you would click on the paintbrush and then you can draw your sprite. I admit I'm not the best drawer, but you have a paint can and I can paint it in and then I can change color. I want more brown. Use the paintbrush. This is a very poor design of a tray. See how it's not working? It's because it's not completely connected. By connecting it, I can hit the paint and it will do it. It will also do shapes, so I'm going to lighten up the brightness here, which gives me some brighter colors. I'm going to try to get a nice red and put some apples on my tree. And you can see I'm making some apples. Um, we can kind of click off of it. If I don't want the outlines black, I can change them to be red. And so I can have red apples. And then over here, I can move the sprite wherever I want to start my story. So that's how you draw. A surprise literally throws something random into your sprites. I don't want a basketball. For backdrop, it works the same way. I'm going to make it blue around here by just clicking on backdrop. Again, I can choose a backdrop. I think I'm going to put mine in the... I won't say I have some fish. So maybe I'll do the beach Malibu. And I can put my fish sort of in the water and a random tree over here. Or I can choose to draw my background. And then again, I can play with the different settings. You may want to draw a straight line across. Didn't exactly want it in blue. I mean, I wanted it in blue. It's in red. I draw another line. Oh, it did. It swapped it for me. Paint can. Still not letting me because I didn't make a perfect shape. So maybe if I do a square. Now I have my blue. So it has my ocean. And then I 
I can change, oh, I want to change that color. Keep my blue. And then over here, I'm going to do it again. I want to make my square, so I'm going to click on it. But instead of making it blue, I actually want to make it green so it looks kind of like land. I will never say I'm the best drawer, but I can put my tree on land and I can put my fish in the ocean. So that is how you add a sprite or dry sprite or how you add a background or paint your background. Then you can always upload with the up arrow. These are very common. You will also see it here if you want to add costumes. They are very similar. So this is how you add a sprite, add a backdrop, or paint one yourself.